hello in this video i'm going to take you through on how you can design this complex shape in solidworks and add a few appearance on the on the part itself so on solidworks just open then uh, click uh, new uh, then select part click ok then uh, you can have this uh, workspace turned to plain white once you do that then uh, we have the right plane here offset it by 60 millimeters by clicking plane then uh, you can add the measurement here 60 millimeters then also the same same right plane offset it again by 60 millimeters but now in the opposite direction then now you can start and uh, sketch on plane one select uh, center rectangle then uh, add measurement uh, to be 20 millimeters by 100 millimeters so length is 100 width is uh, 20 millimeters then uh, click ok again also do the same for plane 2 just select the plane then add uh, sketch like that then uh, select uh, center rectangle then uh, in this uh, case now we'll have a length of 20 millimeters and a width of uh, 100 millimeters click ok then uh, i can exit the sketch so for now we can hide plane one and two we are not using them right now and again now go to surface tab then click on plane surface and uh, select the sketches we have this will convert them to surfaces uh, like that click ok then uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, just to add something like a flange by clicking on the ruled surface then you can select uh, all these lines like that then ensure it is normal to surface then click ok do the same for the second uh, surface there in case it is your first time on this channel please do remember to hit that subscribe button just to support the channel so this this one here you can you can flip direction by clicking that arrow there so that we have them facing each other so once you do that is uh, just want to hide these uh, end surfaces for now hide them like that we'll turn them back on later then uh, click on uh, loft surface, lofted surface, still on the surface tab, right click then uh, click on selection manager, then uh, click select all those lines, click ok, again also right click and select on the selection manager, then select all these lines, click ok. Then we do have end and uh, start and end constraint. Ensure that one is uh, the option there is tangent to surface. Then uh, here we have one. Do the same to the end uh, constraint. Uh, coming to mesh preview and uh, mesh density. Ensure the mesh density is uh, the maximum 20. This will give us the smooth transition between those uh, two surfaces there. Once that is done, you can now turn these uh, end surfaces back on again. Like that. Now you want to convert it to solid. Click on knit surface, then select everything. Then check those two boxes. Click OK. Uh, the next thing is to extend these ends by 60 millimeters. Just select then sketch and uh, convert entities. Then you can add uh, measurement to 60. Do the same procedure to the other end. 
60 millimeters click ok now we add uh, some fillets uh, we will add a round fillet on uh, these uh, end surfaces we have just added select on fillet then now you can add the three surfaces second one then now the third one is the last one then now uh, click click ok do the same to the other part click ok also now I want to add fillet on these uh, sharp uh, edges just uh, click on fillet command select the first option then now you can just click any surface then uh, the selection will be done automatically then uh, you can have a fillet radius of five millimeters perfect uh, the we want to now add the holes on both uh, end surfaces I just select that surface then uh, click on circle then you can see SolidWorks will automatically show you the center of that uh, round surface radius is 50 mm radius is uh, 50 millimeters no, diameter is uh, 50 millimeters then now you can uh, extrude uh, cut on both sides or on both ends then uh, click ok repeat the same procedure for this other end So now we have the two holes. Finally, we also want to add fillets on these uh, edges of the holes. Just select that surface. Then uh, also select other hole. Then uh, select the fillet radius to be seven millimeters. perfect uh, finally you can hide these uh, lines appearing on the surface by selecting the um, this down arrow here then select that one so in case uh, it's uh, it's your uh, first time on this channel do remember to hit that subscribe button uh, we want to add uh, scene uh, basic scenes just uh, can use the last one here add it on the scene then now uh, we can change this appearance to to still uh, we can have polish still I just click on the part like that uh, we can now turn on the real view just to have a clear view uh, the reality how will it look like so here is the basic shape and uh, it's uh, not that complex but uh, it's complex in a way in case uh, you have any question regarding all the same and let me know in the comment section and uh, in case you learn a few things uh, one or two you can uh, remember to hit that subscribe button that way you support the channel to grow and also you learn more things in the future. Thanks for watching and uh, let's catch up in the next uh, video.